let's make the question far more tougher in a 160 meter race if a allows b a head start of 10 meters the race ends in a dead heat they ran a second race of 400 meters this time a allowing b a head start of 40 meters who wins and by what margin so uh, there is a head start involved so let's understand what that means so we are saying a allows b a head start of 10 meters so at the starting point so a will be at the starting point itself he begins from the uh, initial but b is allowing him a head start so he'll allow b you go ahead you stand a little ahead and this head start is given in this question in terms of distance 10 meters right so it's very easy to understand that he uh, the, the the race has not begun as yet the pistol has not fired as yet he says b you go ahead and stand and both of them are taking their positions on their marks at this position and then i say now run and both start running right so what i mean want to say is that i would still look at this situation as both starting simultaneously in terms of time they start at the same time however they start from two distinct points right the second thing the, that we are talking about here is the race is of 160 meters and it ends in a dead heat it ends in a dead heat means a is going to run the full distance he reaches 160 at the finishing point and b also reaches the finishing point simultaneously that is the meaning of dead heat they reach the end point simultaneously so in effect the data is telling us that when a runs 160 meters in that same time they start simultaneously and the race ends simultaneously right over then the B is going to run 150 meters, right? So this is another way of giving the same data. So I'm erasing this. None of this picture is needed for our questions. We, it was just needed to understand head start, right? And the head start is in meters. Compare this with the next question where head start will be in time. Anyway, let's go forward here. So the data captured from the question is A and B. A runs 160, B runs 150 and I'm not to win writing meters because I use the same ratio for speeds also. So if I get the speed of A as 16, the speed of B will be 15. I know that, right? So I could use it for distance or speed. Now in the question we are saying, they run a second race of 400 meters, who wins? So assume A, when A reaches the end point, A reaches end point, finish. A reaches finish that means A has run 400 so I'll check the multiple what multiple of 160 is going to be 400 16 2s are 32 80 so into 25 this is a traditional way of solving and look at how how many thoughts we can have and make so solve this question orally but let's see how students do so B will also run uh, 15 into 25 that is going to be 400 minus is that is 375 right and he's run 375 but he has a head start of 40 meters the 375 is the distance that he has run on his own but he also starts from 40 meters ahead of the starting point right so he is at a total distance of 425 is it or 450 400 and meters from start from star which means when a reaches the finishing point b has already crossed the finishing point so obviously a has not won the race right oh so one part of my answer i've got that b wins the race right but by how many margin how many meters i yet have to calculate so for that i'll erase off all this work in my mind and i'll say oh let b reach the finishing point b reaches finishing point and if B reaches finish point mind you he doesn't do 400 he would be doing 400 minus the 40 the head start that he has which is he would be doing only 360 meters right so if 150 is 360 how many times that is 15 twos are 30 24 times then 16 into 24 will be uh, let's see 16 fours are 64 6 carrier 16 to the 32 384 is it yeah 384 sorry the zero is not a part i'm just taking 16 and 50 
so 384 so 384 he has run 384 meters that is he is 16 meters behind finishing point behind finish because the finish is 400 meters from where he started right so now we understand the complete thing b wins and by 16 meters all of this work is quite unnecessary and takes a lot of time. So, one thing that we could have done is, when A has run 400, we had got that he runs 300 and this is what, into 25, this is 375 and plus a head start of 40, that is 415 meters. Once we had reached this, a shorter version could have been and watch out yeah more than the shortcut it's about developing your mind and how a is at the finishing point b is ahead of the finishing point so let's rewind a little just as you are going forward let's go backwards so think that both the players are running backwards now right we are just rewinding till what moment till the time b reaches the finish because that is when b has won the race right so, we are talking about when he covers 15 meters. Now, do you understand what I was talking earlier? Whenever he covers 160, he covers 150. If he covers 16, he will cover 15. If B covers 15, A will go behind by 16 meters. And that's it. This 16 meters that he's gone behind is the margin of win. B is at finish. Now, because he was 15 ahead of finish. Now, he is at finish and A is 16 behind finish point right so the whole second part of me making b reach the finish point was unnecessarily i'll go to a more extent and say this whole work itself was unnecessary because we have learned from our first example itself focus on the gap between a and b and if the gap is one, if A runs 160, B will run 150 and the gap in that time interval or when they run these distances is 10 meters, right? So, when A runs 400, 16 into 25, the gap will be uh, 25 meters. So, A, this, this is A runs, let me put what 25 is, A runs 25 more than B, but B has a head start, don't forget the head start, this whole example is of head start of 40, therefore the two of them together, so at beginning B is 40 ahead and in the, in the race A has run 25 more than B, A has caught on 25. Suggests that still B is ahead, but ahead of how many? Ahead by 15 meters, right? So, if B is ahead by 15 meters, the same process comes. Let's rewind it. When A has run 400 with A is at finishing point, B is ahead. Also, let's rewind it. Let's get B to the finish point. If B gets finish point, then A will go back by 16 meters. And that's my answer. Right? So, I need not have done any of those uh, individual distances. I could just work on the gap and it definitely pays off. Right? So, uh, another proportionality, just, just to drive in proportionality, another thing B winning was very apparent here. Why? Because in 160 meters, in a race of 160 meters, so we have a race of 160 meters, a 10 meter head start, head start results in dead heat that is both reach at the same time right so a 40 meter head street or, or let's say whichever way you want in 400 meters 400 meters could i say is uh, two and a half times right that is a 25 times 16 into 25 two and a half times so a 25 meter head start would have resulted in a dead heat but the actual head start is 40 meters so b hasn't very large advantage over A, right? Because of the 40 meter head start. Or else, a 40 meter head start, four times the head start, means the race should have been 640 meters for A to catch up with B. But the race is only 400 meters, so A is not going to catch up with B because so B winning has apparent out of that, right? And this is the best way. So let's wind it with one last example of head start in time. A and B can run at speeds of 25 meter per second and 24 meter per second. 
they run a race with A allowing B a head start of 6 seconds. What should be the length of the race so that it ends in a dead heat? We, have we know the meaning of dead heat that is both should reach simultaneously. So let's understand now uh, that uh, what does a head start of 6 seconds mean? A head start of 6 seconds means that at the start both the individuals A who is fast as well as B who is slow both of them are at the same starting point. Right, and I say run, and it is B who starts running. A doesn't run, so the race has started, but then B has started covering a distance. And from where is he covering a distance? He is covering a distance from start. So he comes, and after six seconds are over, post six seconds, post six seconds, then A also begins his race. Right? So, A and B both start from the same point is the emphasis that I am making here. It is just that A starts after 6 seconds. So, if B takes, if I freeze the frame after some time, if I freeze at a particular point of time, then if B has taken T time, a time of T uh, seconds or so on, A would have taken T minus 6 seconds till then. Why? Because he has begun running after 6 seconds, right? Hope you have got the idea out over that. So, head start or 6. In this question, the race is supposed to end in a dead heat. So, both of them reach the finishing point simultaneously, right? So, the 6 seconds ends up being the difference in the time taken. So, one way to solve this question is, or oh, the distance is asked, the length of the race is asked. I am given the speeds, 24 and 25 meters per second. And the 6 is the difference in time. Right? So, if, if uh, one way could be the equation way where we say distance or who takes more time, B will take more time. So, B, distance by uh, speed of B, the time taken by A, uh, distance by speed and the difference is 6. You can obviously go ahead and solve this. You will have to multiply by 24 and 25, uh, the LCM of 24, 24 which is 24 into 25. However, we are falling back to equation way. Right? And we have spent a long enough time for us to realize if both of them start from the same point, they start from same point and they end at same point, end at same point. So, in this situation what I am saying is distance is constant, distance is constant and the time is different. Time is different, right? That is a difference of uh, 6 seconds, right? And if distance is constant, I know speed and time are inversely proportional. So, I will think about speed and time. Oh, I know the ratio of the speeds. The ratio of speeds is 25 is to 24. So, the ratio of time will be 24 is to 25. And I know there is a difference of a difference, a difference of 1. Uh, in the ratio it is 1, but I know in the actual world it is a difference of 6 seconds. So, I will multiply all the values by 6. 6 into 24 that is 144 seconds and uh, 150 seconds. So, B will take 150 seconds. A since he has started 6 seconds later will take 144 seconds to so reach the finishing point. I want distance, distance is speed into time. So, I need to do justice 25 meters per second into 144 or 24 meters per second into 150. Both of them should boil down to the same distance because distance is constant. Let us just see that. If I multiply by 25, it is as good as divide by 4 and add two zeros. So, 4 threes are 12 and uh, let me write it out over here. Uh, 4 threes are 12, 36 with two zeros both of them. Does this also boil down to the same thing? Let us see. 15 into 20 is 360. So, both of same. The answer is 3600 meters. So, a head start of time, you could look at both starting from the same point, ending if it is a, uh, yeah, ending at the finishing. So, they are taking the same. One might change this to a head start in terms of uh, meters. I could even do that, right? And this is the work 
that you should be doing in your minds to learn proportionality. What is the difference in between a head start or meters? In a head start or meters, I say when A starts, when A starts running, he is at the starting point, A is starting running, but at that time B has reached some place ahead. B is here, here at this point, right, in terms of distance. What do we mean that here? He has a head start of 6 seconds, so he will cover a distance of time, speed into time. And whose speed? B's speed. So he runs at 24 meters per second and he's been running for 6. So this is a head start of 144 meters. So I can consider that B begins from here, A begins from here and I say now fire the pistol, both start running here after. So from here after till the end, then what am I looking at? I'm looking at time is constant. Time is constant here after. Right? And if time is constant, distance and speeds are uh, directly proportional. I know the ratio of speeds. So let's say A and B. So speeds or distances or distance will be in the ratio 25 is to 24. And what do I know? This 144 is the difference in the distance. Now time is same. The distance run is different. Oh, so this difference of 1 corresponds to 144 meters. Right? So, what is the actual distance? The distance is multiply all of these by 144, 25 into 144, which is what we had done out over here, 25 into 144, multiplying by 25, just divide by 4, that is 3600. Here we will have 24 into 144, right? Which is 144 less. So, if you do the multiplication, it's going to become 3456, right? So, which one is the race, uh, race length? Remember B has run some distance from this point onwards. This is the original start. A has run a distance of 3600. B has run a distance of 3456 from here. So the race length is that of 3600, right? There are many questions on races, right? This session here just introduced you to the different terminologies and did a few standard questions, right? Uh, rest is dependent upon your practice, how well you do them and how many questions you can cover up, right? So, try, try doing questions on races after this.